Okay, the next thing we're going to do is this puppy. This is the ETS speed loader, which I have done a review on in the past, and I didn't have good success with it. Um, but they may have made some improvements to it because I last time I tried it, I have three different magazines here. One is a Smith and Wesson Shield, nine millimeter. This is a P mag, mag pull P mag with a Glock 19, 15 round, and the ETS 12 round that fits in the shield. I'm going to be loading into them. Uh, 147 grain subsonic from 2A warehouse here in Houston. Um, the way you use this, what's really cool about this, is you take the thing, you slide it over your magazine. I'm just going to load 10 rounds into it. Yeah, we're doing a match. That's all you need is 10 rounds. Put them in there. Make sure they get seated. Like so. This is your charging bar, I guess you would call it. Put that on. This is what's going to shove them into the magazine. Now, on the, the shield, it only takes... Eight rounds and blind with one in the magazine. So we're going to pull two out. I'm going to put it in there. Like so. And the trick with this is you've got to make sure that's all the way up in there and centered. See that little click right there? You take the charging handle. And they say all you have to do is just push them down. What I do is set them on the thing like this. And hit them like that. And there she is loaded, just like that. Eight rounds. Okay. Top these out. Just leave those in there. I guess I could just leave them in there. These shield magazines are a little bit tedious to use so it's good to lubricate them so there's an eight round shield holds nine with one in the chamber the next thing is the Glock 19 this is a P mag I bought from Palmetto State Armory same thing, you stick it in the magazine. Now this speed loader is supposed to hold, shoot, load any 9mm double or single stack. Loader on up in there. Make sure your follower is lined up like it's supposed to be, which this is not. I got it backwards, see what I just did? Put her up in there. Make sure your follower is loaded right up in there. You can see your, your follower up there. Pick up your, I'm going to just put 10 rounds in it. No sense in loading the whole 15 in there. It helps to go ahead and push these down in there and get them preloaded. I guess we could put the 15 in it. What the hell? One, two, three, four, five. Put the full 15 on there if we can. Probably won't work because that's quite a bit. No, it's not going to work. So we're just going to load 10 in there. You're shooting target match. You're not going to shoot more than 10 rounds. I don't recommend shooting more than 10 rounds at a time. You can't do it with 10 in a match because that's what a match is. If you want to load your magazines all the way up to 15, you can put 10 in, then 5. And again, see you push it down like this. Ain't having a trouble. But if you do it like this, boom. Boom. 
10 rounds loaded up, ready to go. See how quick that was? The device does work, but it's a little tricky. Now we're going to put 10 rounds in the ETS 12 round magazine for the shield. This is a 12 round magazine that fits in the get the gun over here and show you. This is the Smith & Wilson Shield 9. Holds 8 on the extended magazine, 9 in the chamber. The smaller magazine holds 1 less. Put it up in there. Locks right in. Now you've got a 12 round shield. It also holds pretty good. It points pretty damn good. Pop it out. Set the gun aside. Now we're going to load 10 into the shield. 12 round magazine. The ETS. Once, whoops. See what I just did? They slide through there pretty good when you don't have a magazine in there. Oh. <coughs> Let's do that again, silly me. Put your magazine in. Make sure your follower lined up like so. You've got to get it centered just like I did with the other shield magazine. Put your rounds in. I do like the pickup feature, though, the way you can just pick it up out of the magazine, out of a case, a bullet, bullet case, out of the bullet carton. I bought 250 rounds of this. This is 147 subsonic. Make sure they're down in there. See, I mean, I'm getting them to go down there with my hand. These are, you know, once you break the thing in, this thing's going to go really easy. See how quick that was? Didn't even have to force them. Because the thing's starting to loosen up and it's starting to get worn in. There it is. Ten rounds, fully loaded. Ready to go. in the ETS, I got this from Gun Mag. Uh, GunMagazine.com, I think it was. It's a semi stack on the shields. It's a semi stack. It's not double stack. It's a offset stack. It is stacked, but it's pretty cool. And you can see here, see how they're stacked in there. I like these magazines where you can see the rounds inside them. It's polymer, plastic. You want to call it plastic, whatever. Pretty solid magazines, though. And they were reasonably priced, which is unusual. But nice magazines if you're interested in the shield. So now we have the Glock, the shield, regular metal magazine, and the shield plastic 12 round magazine loading up with the ETS loader. Let's do it again on another one. Here's another one right here. We'll put the 12 rounds in there if we want, if everybody wants to. Looks like I missed one when I put them in last time. It was only nine. There we go. Now there's ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. I get that right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. So we got twelve rounds in there. Did get 10 rounds in there. Well, that's right. I had two extra left over from the other loads. So there's a 12 rounder loaded up, but we'll load 12 in there just for the hay of it. Take two out of here. Put a 12 rounder magazine in it. Like I said, you got to make sure you get that puppy centered. And it will wobble a little bit, but don't let that bother you. Load them in here. Pick up the other 10, just like this, see? Just slide them on there just like that. Pick them up, and there's your 12 rounds ready to go. Put your little uh, forcing device on there. Boom! 
Amazing how the ETS magazine loads so easily. <laughs> and this is an ETS loader. So that means anything to you. There's 12 rounds right there for your shield. Imagine having that little shield with 12 in the magazine, one in the chamber, which is, is loaded right now. You've got 13 rounds on that little handgun. And I want to tell you all, if you don't have one of these, I would buy you, if you can get your hands on one, I highly recommend it. It's a great little carry gun. Uh, the trigger pull on them is fantastic. I've worked mine in, of course, where it's very good, but it's very easy to use. I've done the little fancy uh, tune-up on mine and painting and stuff, but this is an awesome little handgun. And I picked this up from PASA, All Metal State Army. Had them on sale for 250 bucks a piece. I bought two of them, one for me and one for my son. So if you're in the market for a really cool little carry gun, it's small, effective, just as deadly. And for carry ammo, I use these. This is the Liberty Ammo, 55 grain, 2,000 feet per second, specially made for the Sky Marshals, They're used inside an aircraft, so they do not over penetrate. And if you go on my wet on my YouTube channel, you'll see where I shoot a milk carton with these, and it completely a one gallon milk carton, and from about 12, 15 yards, completely destroys it, blows it in a million pieces. So, if you're interested in really hot, awesome killer. Carry ammo, there it is. Take those out. So there it is, folks. The ETS 940, 9mm, 40 caliber speed loader. It does work. It's a, You had to see what I did with the magazines to get them to push in. These standard metal magazines are a little tougher to work. Uh, same thing with the PMAG. It was a little... Took a little little effort, as you saw, slam it down, and it'll slam right on in there. That's 10 rounds. I could load 15 if I wanted to. In fact, let's go ahead and load 15 in it, just see how, how it does. Load the other five. Put her in there. Got a little ahead of myself. Put them in there. Make sure you get them all the way down like that. Put your follower in there. Look at that. Bang. There's 15 rounds loaded into a 15 round Glock P Mag magazine. 15 rounds of firepower. That quick. So, if you're looking for a speed loader, I would recommend this. Takes like anything else, takes a little getting used to and using. The company's ETS, ETS Shield Magazine, awesome. They also make uh, uh, magazines, high capacity magazines for the Glocks up to, I think, 40 rounds. Don't quote me on that, but I believe they make a extended magazine for the Glocks or the Glock clones, as the case may be, like the dagger. And what you'll see right here, we'll just take this off. I did a review a while ago, but my main big camera wasn't running. <laughs> Silly me! Haven't done any reviews in a while. And, uh, yeah, we got to make sure them things are all the way down. Slide her off here. There we go. Love how the Glock slides work. I, I, I really do. Some people really don't like them. But it's all a matter of choice. This is, like I said, this is the Glock uh, clone of the 19, which is called the Dagger S Compact. And... Uh, Pull these things, pull the little releases down, get it on there. And there she is. She's ready to go. 
put your 15 round magazine in and you have a fully loaded Glock ready to go with 15 rounds of power in them. Well, 16 with one in the in the pipe. Some people don't like carrying them in the pipe, but um, I don't know. I do. I like carrying one in the pipe, especially with a weapon like the Glock. Uh, they are very safe. Um, there's haven't heard of any accidental deeds discharges with them that I know of. Um, if anybody's heard one, put it in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about that. Everybody has their own opinion of how to carry. But for now, I hope to do some range work with these guns and the new uh, the new speed loader. I actually use the speed loader on a range using different ammo. So for now, this Alfa Romeo 1.5 out.